Hello guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing my LEGO Tiger 1. It's a camouflage and it's completely custom. At first I just want to say that uh, Tiger right now is not 100% complete. It's like 95% complete. As you can see it's missing the uh, sort of flaps here on the front and it's missing uh, grill pieces up here. But other than that, that's the only two pieces, really, that it's missing. Those those parts are uh, still coming in the mail. Um, but other than that, everything else is here. Uh, everything is pretty much done. And I gotta say, this thing turned out amazing. Like, it just looks really good. The camouflage works really well. Um, I got some stickers on here, and the stickers actually turned out really well. Like you can see, sort of that tiger right there, which is from a uh, historical unit, heavy panzer unit, and all these uh, stickers. Looks really, really good. Another one on the side there, the uh, Wehrmacht symbol on the side and on the turret. And also we got the uh, numbers inside the turret there. It just looks, turned out really, really good. Um, and as you can see, I got the marks of excellence right there. The white and black lining on the barrel to uh, signify that this tiger has indeed seen combat. And this tiger is uh, set up for Normandy, 1944, um, probably around the Battle of Caen, and it just just looks really good. And I got the uh, crewman that you guys already seen set up here. Got the uh, commander with a nice hairpiece, and then got the radio operator and the driver smoking a cigarette. Um. So yeah, I'm just going to do sort of a little review here. I'm going to say what I really like, what I don't like. I already said what I like about it a lot. I think the turret turned out really good. You got the smoke grenade launchers right here. Um, I think the commander's hatch looks pretty good. Looks pretty accurate to the uh, late, later models of the Tiger. Um, I love custom bricks uh, tank treads here. The sort of wider ones, um, they look really good on the Tiger. They make it look even better than it would with with these normal tracks, three wide tracks that Lego produces. Custom bricks just makes it look even more realistic. Um, got a lot of detail on the tank. This is, of course, custom bricks design. Completely followed their instructions. Their instructions are great. Got some uh, stickers on the back there, and also all of these stickers are from Custom Bricks. And in my in my opinion, Custom Bricks Tiger is the best design. Uh, just looks the best. Looks the most realistic, most accurate. Um, and it's pretty hard to nail the design of the Tiger. I mean, it's just a big box really with a big gun sticking out of it. Um, in my opinion, Brickmania's Tiger and some other Tigers out there, they're a little bit too blocky. Um, the Tiger has some sort of subtle slopes here and there and I think Custom custom Bricks really captures that, especially with the uh, slope on the forward section of the turret here. Um, and also, there's a uh, sloping in the back. This entire piece slopes up. The exhausts look amazing, as usual. Um, got Brick Arms MG34 there. And you can put a guy right here in the commander's hatch. However, it doesn't look that good, to be honest. I will. One thing I don't like about this is that the hatches in this tank are pretty pretty bad. Um, as you see that guy sticks out a bit too much and the hatch sort of just looks really out of place open like that. Not like the, not how it should look in real life. And also this uh, 
loader's turret right there next to the MG34. It can open, however, the MG34 blocks it. So, yeah, but that hatch can hold a person pretty well, actually. Just the problem is that the machine gun blocks it. So not that great of a design. And then also there's uh, hatches in the front, the uh, radio operator and the driver's hatch. They do open, however, the turret sort of just goes over them, went like this, so if you want to open them, you have to turn the turret like this, and then open them. And even if you open them anyways, you can't really, there's not much room in there, and the guy still sort of sticks out like the uh, commander hatch. But, all, all the hatches do work, but they're, uh, they're not that great. But you can afford, you can of course uh, fix them yourself. I think I might may fix them. Probably will not. Uh, I just w really like the design how it is, and I don't mind sacrificing sort of the hatches for for this beauty. Um, what else? Also, I just want to mention that this the design for the tiger is. A little bit bigger than sort of the uh, normal tank design. It's a bit larger. Uh, for example, I mean, of course, the Tiger is larger than the Sherman, and I think that actually turns out pretty well. The, the size comparison between the two. Um, Tiger really looks fearsome. Looks big and powerful, and the Sherman looks like the right size to it. Um, however, the Tiger just slightly, slightly, slightly bigger, um, but I really don't mind that. I think it actually goes in favor of the Tiger, because then it just looks uh, a lot more powerful and fearsome. As you can see, you can see that side view right there, and oh my god, that looks really good. Um, so yeah, this was my secret project I was working on. Custom Bricks Camo Tiger. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's uh, the trickiest part was gathering all the parts. There's some parts in the parts list that aren't there, and they're on like the step pictures. It's kind of hard to hard to explain, but you got to be careful when uh, getting all the parts for this thing. But I managed to uh, to get all the parts. And yeah, I think it turned out great. I'm gonna be using this tiger in an upcoming mock I have. It's already made. I just gotta put it there. Well, I prefer waiting for the last few parts and then showing off the mock. Uh, the mock's not too great. It's just sort of a test mock. Um, and then also, I really plan to use this tiger in a stop motion, sort of focused on the tiger. It's just gonna be epic. And also, since I have this tiger camouflaged, might as well uh, sort of show it off with the my other camouflaged vehicles. So here's uh, Brick Mania's Martyr 3. It looks pretty good. The tiger has a bit more camouflage detail, but of course that's because it's bigger and it can use uh, a bit more detail in there. And then. Uh, Brick Factories Berlin uh, half track and all those three vehicles together I think they they form a nice little team all I can definitely put all, all these vehicles in a mock together and it would turn out pretty good of course the tiger lacks camouflage like uh, leaves but that makes up for stick sticker detail and other other items it has attached to it. So uh, yeah, I really like this Tiger. I love how it turned out. Looks amazing. Um, few people even have a camouflage Tiger. Um, so yeah, I totally recommend it. And I'll see you guys later. And uh, like and subscribe. Peace out.